Hello to all my students and parents and everybody else is watching this. I would like to say thank you because I really appreciate all the feedback that I'm getting from these videos. Please, please continue to make your comments. It does help me improve and it keeps me motivated to keep doing this. As we move forward, today's notes or this lesson will cover um, the five major climate types. Now, there are more than just five, but we're talking about the major climate types. I know we have rainforest and subarctic, so on and so on, but the five major climate types. Let's go. Five major climate types include tropical. We also have arid or desert, and arid is another word for dry. So a lot of times an arid climate type is referred to as a desert climate type. Same thing, students. We have temperate, continental, and last but not least, we have polar. Those are our five major climate types, tropical, arid, or desert, temperate, continental, and polar. <clears throat> Let's start with tropical. It's a non-arid, which means it gets a lot of rainfall. Non-arid, non-dry means it's wet. A non-arid climate in which all 12 months have an average temperature above 64 degrees. In other words, it's one steady season. It doesn't have four seasons or even two. They consider a rainy season, but when it comes to temperature, for the most part, the average monthly temperature would not fall below 64 degrees. All tropical climates also are located along the equator. More about the tropics. This includes rainforests such as the Amazon and the beaches of Florida and the Caribbean. You got tropical climate in California, different parts of Mexico, and here's what's even deeper. Even though it doesn't look like the tropics, the vegetation isn't the same, you don't have your palm trees, but the savanna and grasslands of Africa are also considered tropical. It is a tropical climate. Next, we have arid or desert. I said that before, a desert climate. Arid means dry, so arid climates are sometimes referred to as desert climates. I said it again. Arid means dry, so arid climates are sometimes referred to as desert climates. And desert climates or arid climates usually receive less than 10 inches of rain per year. That's what qualifies it as a desert or arid climate. Arid means dry, so if it's getting less than 10 inches of rain, that's pretty dry. More about it now. This includes regions such as the Sahara Desert of Africa and Death Valley, California. So yes, here in the United States of America, which is where I broadcast, straight out of Little Rock, Arkansas, we do have a huge, a vast desert, and it's called Death Valley. And it, the city is actually named Death Valley, California. It's right on the border of California and Nevada, the southern tip of Cali. Next, we have temperate. And I just spoke of Little Rock. Little Rock, Arkansas has a temperate. Most of the United States has a temperate climate type. A temperate climate type is very moderate or average temperatures with four distinct seasons. So we know what it feels like in the spring. And when it switches over to summer, there's a distinct, a vast difference that we can tell. Just the same when it goes from summer to fall, pretty much where we are right now in 2011. There's a distinct difference. We can tell the difference in the temperature. And when we go from fall to winter, boom, we'll be able to tell that difference too. That's temperate. Very moderate or average normal temperatures with four distinct seasons. With that said, here in Little Rock or anywhere where the temperature or the climate is temperate, it would never get too hot. It's not going to be 120, 125 like it is in a desert. Or it'll never be too cold. We won't drop 10, 15, 20 degrees below zero. We seldom reach into the teens or even single digit numbers. It won't get too cold. This is not the polar climate or subarctic or even continental. So temperate is pretty good. I'm good with temperate because we don't get too hot in the summer and we don't get too cold in the winter. More climate types of temperate includes regions such as the Mediterranean. I'm not talking about the sea. I'm talking about the countries in that, that area. So we're talking about Spain, France, Italy. We have Greece. 
We have that whole entire Mediterranean Sea area. Those countries have a temperate climate type, as well as the southern part of the United States. And as a shout out to the Clinton Library, Will Clinton or Bill Clinton did a lot of things for our nation and for our state. And there is a presidential library to his credit. Continental, characterized by moderate summer. So the continental climate is pretty similar to temperate climates, except for its winters. So the summers are pretty normal. The springs, the fall is pretty normal. All right. Moderate temperature temperatures, just average temperatures. However, it gets cold, very cold during the wintertime. And it's a lot of snow on the ground, snow for months and months. They actually have blizzards. Arkansas, Little Rock, we don't even have blizzards. Well, continental climates do. And it's located in Earth's northern hemisphere. And I'm going to highlight that for you. It's that area right there, right below the polar regions where you see all that ice. But right above, right above the southern part of the United States and right above the Mediterranean Sea, we start to get into a continental climate type. Here we go. And as you can see, this is a picture of Central Park. And I tried to find two similar pictures or the same picture. And I think I did a good job at that. I mean, shout out to me. If you look at the tree patterns, I was really happy. It took some time to find it. But I wanted to show and emphasize the fact that the summer and the spring and the fall is pretty much similar to a temperate climate type here in Little Rock. However, during the wintertime in New York City, they have snow on the ground for more than just a couple of days like we do here in Little Rock. So their winters are much colder, much colder, and they receive way more snow than we do here in Little Rock or in a temperate climate type. Other places, Chicago, the Windy City, we already know how cold it gets in Chicago. We have Canada and Northern Europe, as well as Northern Asia has a continental climate type. Excuse me. Next, we have polar and characterized by a lack of summer. So they don't have summer temperatures at all. It, <laughs> it never, I was about to say rarely, but it never gets hot in the polar climate. We understand that. I think everybody understands that, but let's make sure that we emphasize that. Characterized by a lack of summer and polar regions or polar climates are located near the North and South Pole. In polar regions, it's ice, ice, ice. And even with that said, sometimes, not sometimes, but polar regions can also be considered desert because it is very dry. You say, well, how is it dry? Look at all that ice. Look at all that. Yeah, that's H2O. However, that's ice that's been there for years and years and years and years and years. It doesn't snow that much in polar regions. Remember, it has to be at least 10 inches of rainfall or precipitation. Polar regions, sometimes they do, but for the most part, don't get 10 inches of precipitation. So it's still dry. That's just frozen ice because it's so cold. It's been there so long. It seems like, wow, it must be snowing all the time. It's not. It's not. So it's characterized by a lack of summer located near the North and South Pole. And of course, ice, 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 frozen tundra. Even more. Polar regions include areas such as northern Canada, northern Alaska, Antarctica, and northern Greenland. Just a few areas to mention. And that was as quick and easy as pie. That's the end. Keep in mind, there are five different climate types. We have tropical, then arid or desert. We have temperate, continental. Last but not least, we have polar. Keep that in mind. Thank you for your time. This is Mr. Guest. Signing out. See y'all later.